Flick Studio Recaps, we will be discussing the 2023 movie Beautiful Disaster. Before we begin we kindly ask you support by liking and subscribing to our channel for romantic and exciting videos, thank you. The movie opens with Abby Abernathy is a former poker prodigy. She came to the limelight as a 13-year-old who won many championships and surprised everyone with her remarkable poker skills. Abby has had a troublesome relationship with her father, Mick, who has never been able to provide stability or protection to her daughter. He used to carry Abby around with him to win tournaments until she had enough and moved away from home. Abby writes an email to Mick, expressing her wish to move away and start college. Her best friend, America Mason, introduces Abby to underground amateur boxing, where she meets Travis Maddox, the reigning champion. Travis is Shepley's brother, who is America's boyfriend. Abby is instantly smitten by Travis' rugged charm, chiseled physique, and oozing sexuality. Although he doesn't show it instantly, Travis also likes Abby, and the two are introduced the next day by Shepley. Very briefly, Abby shows interest in Dr. Parker Hayes, who resides on the campus but is older than her. Abby's liking for Travis fizzles out their early spark. One night, Travis ruins Parker and Abby's date, which compels her to offer him a dare. If he can go the entire fight without receiving a punch, she will stay with him at his apartment. But, even if one punch is landed, Travis will stop his pursuit of Abby and never bother her. Travis accepts the challenge and, unsurprisingly, manages to go through the entire fight without letting the opponent land a single punch. Abby begrudgingly moves in with Travis, who shares the apartment with America and Shepley. Gradually, Abby and Travis become good friends and come to respect each other. They become very close and show glimpses of liking each other. Travis takes Abby to meet his large family of five brothers and his father, where they learn the truth about Abby's past. Abby is reluctant and feels humiliated. But the brothers are actually huge fans of her legend since they love playing poker together. They are quite receptive to Abby and welcome her into their family. Things move quickly between Abby and Travis thereafter. They almost spend the night together. But Travis is put off by Abby's texting with her father, Mick. He was under the impression that Mick was her boyfriend and vanished into the night. Abby is quite distressed by his actions and deems him too immature. She goes back to try again with Parker. But the to-be doctor backs off when he realizes that Abby and Travis are in love with each other. But the two cannot get their timing right, and this time, Abby gets too drunk for anything to happen. However, the two eventually hook up and spend a very peaceful night together. The next morning, Abby is paid a visit by Vince, who claims to represent a debtor of her father's, Mick. She is horrified to learn that her father might be in trouble. She drops everything and takes off with Vince on the road to Los Angeles. Travis cannot reach her and takes off on his bike after using America's tracker on Abby's phone. Benny propositions Abby with a night of gambling. The outstanding debt owed to him is roughly 100k, which Abby deems impossible to be won in a single night. Benny knows her talents and threatens bodily harm to Mick if she doesn't comply. Abby takes up the challenge of winning 100k on the night and chooses smaller casinos to make sure she is under the radar. The catch here is that Abby is underage to be legally gambling in a casino. Hence, she wants to keep all of it under wraps. Gradually, Abby collects enough chips and wins poker games to fulfill the amount that will get her father out of trouble. She is almost home free when the floor guard stops her. Abby turns nervously but is relieved to find an old friend of hers from high school, Jessie. They embrace, and in Abby's mind, she will be able to go scot-free. But Jessie does not want to cut corners for her. He takes all the chips that she won in return for letting her go without reporting her. She quickly phones Mick and asks him to abandon the city and run away. When the news reaches Benny, he is livid. Abby tries to assure him that she will try again and make sure that her father's debt is paid. But Benny has a cold reaction to her. Travis reaches the spot, following Abby's phone, and senses that she is in danger. He physically beats all of Benny's guys, unaware that Abby does not want that. She turns away from him and angrily reprimands him for spoiling her only chance to help Mick. He follows her, and the two make hate love with each other. Travis learns about Mick's debt and spots an opportunity to help Abby by participating in a fight with Cornabill. The intimidating guy has given an open offer for anyone to beat him, and Travis takes on the challenge. Abby is sent a text by Shepley informing her of this fight. 
She makes her way there but is shocked to find Mick and Jesse together in the basement. It had been a ploy all along to emotionally manipulate Abby and get her to win the money. Mick, Benny, and Jesse had concocted together to fool her and then run away with the money. There is no debt owed to anyone, and Mick's life is not in danger. Abby tazzes Jesse and also Mick, severing all ties with him once and for all. She tries to stop the fight from happening but isn't able to do so. Conrabo gains the upper hand in the fight, but the day is saved when a fire breaks out in the stadium and the fight is abandoned in the middle. Travis and Abby finally declare their love for each other. A post-credit scene also reveals that Travis and Abby married each other in Vegas, although the legality of it is questionable.